So I recently got this uh, Steelman high accuracy digital inflator gauge, uh, 18 inch hose. <coughs> uh, that's what it looks like. Like I said, the prior video is a little bit of uh, literature for your read. It's kind of fuzzy. A little bit fuzzy. There you go. Um, so I'm not going to go through that. That is the part number right there. They do have a different one. This is a, a more expensive one that's supposedly comp compensate for like temperature and stuff. <clears throat> uh, so I will say I, I do have one of these and I do have like the smaller ones and stuff. You know, this hooks up to your air compressor or whatever. And this is an Astro AI. <clears throat> A sip of water real quick because uh, I just feel it coming on. The dry spot, but each time I use this use this gauge, it works. I mean, this um, pressure inflator, it worked just fine to be honest. But I feel like there's a delay, like it doesn't it doesn't quite read until um, I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of wonky in a sense, but it does work. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna discount that, and then you can slowly deflate using this, you know, it does work. <laughs> but I, I kind of wanted a different one. So I got this guy, Let's see. Um, had it for about a week, it comes with some kind of certificate. You know, I'm saying it's like, you know, good to go or it was certified, it was tested or something. And this thing is not really focusing for some reason. Yeah. Not really focusing for some reason. Uh, but yeah. Let's see. Turn it on. You know. Backlight. All that stuff. Um, has a bunch of features. The thing I like about this one. And it honestly wasn't even a selling point. It got some instructions on it. With a little lanyard. So you can just leave it on there. It's, it's, I think it, it feels... Um, it feels laminated. The thing I like about this, the hose, it's about the same length as this one, I, I guess. You know, but this this top portion it just swivels. It swivels. It doesn't have doesn't have the lock or the you know the this locking mechanism. But it has like a thumb. You can rest your thumb on it, you know, and hold it onto the the valve stem. But it swivels. So this could be bad or good, be good if it starts leaking right there where it spins. But I like the fact that if you, you can get it in a in an awkward angle, you know. You just you won't have to like reposition your hands and do all this with the hose. You just literally need to, you know, put it in the turn it to the angle you want and kinda apply pressure. So I do like that about it. Yeah, it does have the, the pressure release there. I don't have a chuck hooked up to it unless I would like put some air through it. But anyway, this is just a quick look of it. Um, <coughs> haven't really, haven't really used it yet. <coughs> Try to turn it off. I don't know if it turns off automatically or not. So when I use it. I typically, you know, rotate all the tires and uh, make sure the pressures are good with every oil change. So at some point in time, I'll get around to using this one. But that's the that's the unit that I have. That's the model number. Um, like I said, <clears throat> this one just kind of seemed like it was it was showing some kind of like I'm pretty maybe that's how it's supposed to work when you release this. That's when it kind of registered, but I feel like it just was delayed. That's the <clears throat> the Stillman high accuracy digital inflator gauge. Um, as I said, I like on the heating.